Hi, I'm Charles H, and I'll be reading you today Raggedy Ann and Andy Together Again by Chatham River Press. I first encountered these types of books because they were easily accessible and really small and easy to read. So I hope you enjoy this book as much as I did. Raggedy Ann and Andy Together Again. One afternoon, Marcella received a letter and a large package from her grandmother. The package was soft and lumpy, and in it she found a boy rag doll. The letter explained that the doll's name was Raggedy Andy, who had been made at the same time as Raggedy Ann. They had the same happy smile, yarn hair, and shoe button shoes. Somehow, Raggedy Andy had gotten lost and locked in a trunk and placed in a grandmother's attic by mistake, and it wasn't until many years later that grandmother found him. Since Marcella now owned Grandmother's Raggedy Ann doll, Grandmother naturally sent Raggedy Andy. Raggedy Ann and Andy had played together many years before, and they recognized each other immediately. They were thrilled to be together again. Marcella introduced Andy to all of the other dolls who were glad to meet him, for he seemed like lots of fun, just like Raggedy Ann. Since Raggedy Ann had been locked in a trunk for so long, it took him a long time to regain his balance. He even fell off his chair a few times. But by evening, Raggedy Andy was himself again, and was ready to have a few adventures with Raggedy Ann and the other dolls. So, now that you know the story of Raggedy Ann and Andy, it's time to check your comprehension with two questions. First, what type of toy are Raggedy Ann and Andy? And second, why was Raggedy Andy lost for several years?